everyone. <laughs> it's Sunny. We're here at the Olympic Village. It's Wireless Festival, and we're with MIC's Andy Jordan. Uh, this is exciting. It's so exciting. I mean, I'm pretty grateful to Yahoo for inviting me today because I get to see my idol, JT. He's playing later. Favorite JT song? Uh, Senorita. Of course <laughs> it is, Andy. Of course it is. Of course it is. Like, but I'm liking his new stuff though. You know, I thought the whole reinvention thing can go quite wrong, but he's he's nailed it. JT's performing tonight. What are you doing for the rest of the afternoon? Um, well, I'm going to watch as much as I can, actually. I'm really excited to see Frank Ocean as well. Um, cruise around, have some drinks. They make ice cream over here in under 60 seconds, which is quite unbelievable. I've already had two. Considering I'm on a diet, it's not, it's not a great start for the day. <laughs> Louise, why is she not here with you? Oh, I knew I'd get this, because she, she, she tweeted earlier saying that she was annoyed that I couldn't come, uh, that I wasn't bringing her. But basically, she's coming tomorrow, and I was like, that's just really unfair that you get to go two days. So I'm going to take one of my best mates instead. When do you start filming again? So within the next two weeks, I think, we're filming. I'm actually really bad. I never know the exact dates, but I know that it's really soon. Um, so I'm just making the most of the summer, getting my last my last holidays in, uh, and then we'll be back to all the chaos, no doubt. How do you prepare for filming? I don't. You can't really prepare. I mean, it's weird. Like It's one of those things, I think people always think that there's some sort of like script or game plan but there isn't you literally just walk in and we just generally are quite a dramatic group of kids <laughs> you've just finished your second series of filming yeah. you're going into the third how has life changed um it's a little bit different you know sometimes people stop you in the street which is quite weird and the hardest thing is that uh i was actually always someone who kept my business quite to myself um and now everyone knows about it so you know, you get used to sort of wearing your heart on your sleeve um, and having to just roll with the punches. It must be quite tough. What's the toughest thing? Uh, well, I think the end of last series was really tough for, for Louise and I. Like, we obviously ended on a bad note, um, which it's not easy because, you know, we work, th we work through things in relationships and, and then you have to deal with everyone else outside of that. Like you've got your family and they don't know they don't know what's going on and they're like oh my god and you know there's there's mums involved they see this and then they're like i can't sugarcoat it so oh no andy's mom's upset that's terrible <laughs> she's all right she's over it she's over it she's over it so we're here at a music festival and we've heard that you're pretty awesome at music i wouldn't say i'm awesome at music probably i uh i enjoy music a lot it's definitely a hobby of mine um which has always been a bit of a bedroom hobby. I've never actually had the balls to step out and do it. Um, but I'm kind of getting there. So sometime soon there will be some music from me. Oh my gosh, what would you say your vibe is? Who would you compare yourself to? Well, that's the problem actually. I think we're still trying to work that out. <laughs> but I, uh, I don't know, I mean, it's very hard. Like I'm trying to be very um, focused on being quite like acoustic, quite raw, just because it's a hard thing to do knowing that everyone's like, oh God, there's a reality star tackling a music career, throwing myself off a cliff. Um, so I'm just trying to stick to actually being very low key and quite live because I figured if that works, that's how, that's how other musicians would generate a following, so. Who would you love to collaborate with? Well, there's a lot of people. Um, at the moment, I'm really into Jessie Ware. I'd like, I, I, I love house music and the stuff that she did with Disclosure was absolutely awesome. And, uh, yeah, I'm a bit of, I'm one of those sort of people who looks on YouTube and watches live live stuff and I just she's just got this incredible voice. Okay, so can you give us your best Justin Timberlake move? You're oh, we've heard you're a good dancer too. You know yeah, you actually, love it. You know you love it. Okay. Sure. Andy Jordan from Made of Chelsea everyone. Thank you so much. Not quite as good, not quite as good. <laughs>